Today's Stream Globe devotional is titled The Spirit of Holiness. Today's meditation was written by Abraham Damilola Arigi. We shall be taking our Bible reading from Romans chapter 1, verse 4. And declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the Spirit of Holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. This Bible verse is talking about the Lord Jesus. I have just read from the King James Version. Funke had a false view of holiness because of her neighbors. She thought being holy meant dressing funny and not using deodorant. Even after she believed in the Lord Jesus, unknown to her, she was not very comfortable with the subject of holiness. When she heard a preacher talk about holiness, she felt he was preaching legalism. But as Funke grew in the knowledge of God, she realized the true meaning of holiness. She now desired above all else to be holy because she understood that holiness was the secret to walking in authority as sons of God. It is important to note that in spite of the fact that we have been ordained to be sons of God, it is through sanctification, which is holiness, that we would practically apprehend the reality of sonship. Even our Lord Jesus was declared to be the Son of God by the Spirit of Holiness. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 to chapter 7 verse 1 reveals that it is when we accomplish holiness that we will walk in God's promise of sonship. Here is what the Holy Ghost says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 to 18 and chapter 7 verse 1. It says, Therefore come out from the midst and be separate, says the Lord, and touch no unclean thing, and I will welcome you. And I will be a father to you, and you will be my sons and daughters, says the all-powerful Lord. Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us cleanse ourselves from everything that could defile the body and the spirit, and thus accomplish holiness out of reverence for God. I have just read from the New English Translation. Go into today knowing that if you must grow in the authority and power of the Holy Spirit, you must become more like Christ. Becoming like Christ is the definition of holiness. Our Bible reading for today shall be taken from Proverbs chapter 20. To chapter 21 now this bible reading is continuous so if you begin with us today for example by this time next year you would have gone through the entire bible from genesis to revelation the audio for today's bible reading comes up next proverbs chapter 20 to chapter 21 wine is a mocker and beer a brawler Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. A king's wrath strikes terror like the roar of a lion. Those who anger him forfeit their lives. It is to one's honor to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. Sluggers do not plow in season, so at harvest time they look but find nothing. The purposes of the human heart are deep waters, but those who have insight draw them out. Many claim to have unfailing love, but a faithful person who can find. The righteous lead blameless lives. Blessed are their children after them. When a king sits on his throne to judge, he winnows out all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have kept my heart pure. I am clean and without sin. Differing weights and differing measures, the Lord detests them both. Even small children are known by their actions. So, is their conduct really pure and upright? Ears that hear and eyes that see. The Lord has made them both. 
Do not love sleep, or you will grow poor. Stay awake, and you will have food to spare. It's no good. It's no good. Says the buyer, then goes off and boasts about the purchase. Gold there is, and rubies in abundance, but lips that speak knowledge are a rare jewel. Take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger. Hold it in pledge, if it is done for an outsider. Food gained by fraud tastes sweet, but one ends up with a mouthful of gravel. Plans are established by seeking advice, so if you wage war, obtain guidance. A gossip betrays a confidence, so avoid anyone who talks too much. If you curse your father or mother, your lamp will be snuffed out in pitch darkness. An inheritance claimed too soon will not be blessed at the end. Do not say, "I'll pay you back for this wrong." Wait for the Lord, and He will avenge you. The Lord detests differing weights, and dishonest scales do not please Him. A person's steps are directed by the Lord. How then can anyone understand their own way? It is a trap to dedicate something rashly, and only later to consider one's vows. A wise king winnows out the wicked; he drives the threshing wheel over them. The human spirit is the lamp of the Lord, that sheds light on one's inmost being. Love and faithfulness keep a king safe. Through love, his throne is made secure. The glory of young men is their strength. Gray hair, the splendor of the old. Blows and wounds cleanse away evil, and beatings purge the inmost being. In the Lord's hand, the king's heart is a stream of water that he channels toward all who please him. People may think all their ways are right, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the unplowed field of the wicked, produce sin. The plans of the diligent lead to profit. As surely as haste leads to poverty, a fortune made by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a deadly snare. The violence of the wicked will drag them away, for they refuse to do what is right. The way of the guilty is devious, but the conduct of the innocent is upright. Better to live on a corner of the roof than share a house with a quarrelsome wife. The wicked crave evil; their neighbors get no mercy from them. When a mocker is punished, the simple gain wisdom by paying attention to the wise; they get knowledge. The righteous one takes note of the house of the wicked and brings the wicked to ruin. Those who shut their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. A gift given in secret soothes anger, and a bribe concealed in the cloak pacifies great wrath. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to evil doers. Whoever strays from the path of prudence comes to rest in the company of the dead. Whoever loves pleasure will become poor. Whoever loves wine and olive oil will never be rich. The wicked become a ransom for the righteous, and the unfaithful for the upright. Better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and nagging wife. 
The wise store up choice food and olive oil. But fools gulp theirs down. Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. One who is wise can go up against the city of the mighty and pull down the stronghold in which they trust. Those who guard their mouths and their tongues keep themselves from calamity. The proud and arrogant, mocker is their name. They behave with insolent fury. The craving of sluggards will be the death of them because their hands refuse to work. All day long, they crave for more, but the righteous give without sparing. The sacrifice of the wicked is detestable. How much more so when brought with evil intent? Those who give false witness will perish, but a careful listener will testify successfully. The wicked put up a bold front, but the upright give thought to their ways. There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord. Please beware of scammers. No one in Stream Globe will ever call you or send you a WhatsApp message asking for any code or personal information. If you've been blessed by this devotional, you've been healed, you've been delivered, you've been enlightened by God's word. We would love to hear your testimony. Send your testimony to us via WhatsApp on plus 234-803-442-0524. If you wish to send your prayer request, you can send your prayer request to that same number via WhatsApp. To learn more about this ministry or to read our devotionals online or listen to our sermons and other resources online, visit our website at www.streamglobe.org or www.devotional.ng Thank you for listening to today's Stream Globe Daily Devotional. We encourage you to share this audio with friends and contacts and let's touch lives together. Stream Globe Word Outreach is a non-denominational and interdenominational ministry. You can learn more about us by visiting our website at www.streamglobe.org. You can also contact us via telephone by calling plus 234-80344-20524 or plus 234-90555-65838.